lovers. I'm here today to address a problem that I sometimes have, and maybe you have the problem too, so I'm hoping to give you a way to fix it. Have you ever had the problem where someone asks you, they say, you play the violin? Play something, and your mind goes blank, and you cannot think of anything to play but you know how to play the violin. So I'm going to show you a way where you can create your own melody pretty easily and it's actually really fun to do. So you wanna remember when you're making your own melody, you need to give yourself some parameters, some boundaries. So one thing you can do is just play maybe the notes on the A string using fingers open, one, two, three, and four. That would, that would work very, very well. Another thing you could do is you could um, include maybe your first finger on the E string. That would be like using all the notes in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, so that would give you more variety. But for just now today, let's, let's make some melodies up on the A string. What I like to do also is use sort of a question and answer format where the first part of my musical idea or musical phrase is sort of asking a question. Now certain notes sound better to stop on when asking a question. So if I play on my A string, my, my fingers open one, two, three, and four, I would play maybe I just played O O one one O. Well, that does not sound like a question. It kind of sounds like an answer. So what we've learned is that the A string is a very good note to end on if you're ending your phrase or giving an answer. So let's find a note that might sound like a question note. Okay, we play O O one. think that that four sounds like a question note. So I like to uh, land on that in the middle of my phrase. It gives sort of a hello idea. So, all right, well, let's see, let's, let's give a try. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll give a try right here in the studio. I'll play, uh, I'll play a question out. Here we go. able to do it and what you can do is then put those two parts together so you see you can keep it very simple and it will sound great. A lot of people get too fancy. They play too long for their question and their answer. You can just make it really, really smooth and easy. Other things you can do to make it more interesting is to make some double notes. You might've heard me playing make the uh, A string twice or my second finger twice. You can use different rhythms. You could hold one note really long. You could put some rests in it. Rests are the, the silence part of music. Music's made of sound and silence and the rests are the quiet part so you could stop your bow. I'm going to try a question and answer melody that I just make up now uh, with some of those other qualities. Here we go. Now, if you are playing around with this and you get 
a melody that you really like, you could, you could begin to write this down because then you're really on your way to composing and making your own songs for, for here on out. It's really fun. Uh, one way you can write it out is what I call using just tabs. You would tell what string you're on and you would say what finger you're on. Now, sometimes this is not the greatest for, for doing rhythms but it will help you kind of remember what you liked about the direction of your melody. And the more you do it, the better you will be at it.